what is up everybody welcome back collect the beard reactions this go round be looking at frankie boyle audience abuse 104 uh we've looked at his audience annihilation like there's all kinds of compilation flips with frankie boyle and just demolishing the audience so uh before we go any further like subscribe notification bell let's go ahead and get into it how you doing little fella you've made a fucking effort Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone for it with the hair here, haven't you? You look like a moderately powerful Pokemon. <laughs> Why is he a giant version of you? Look like fucking Russian dolls there. <laughs> How you doing, big fella? How's life been since you played Mongo in the Blazing Saddles movie? <laughs> Which, that's an awesome movie if you haven't seen it. Watch Blazing Saddles. That is hilarious. One of my top five favorite movies of all time. Hey, big man. IT. IT. And you said that in a sort of, and my soul is dying every time I sit in front of the computer screen. What about you, Frodo? What's your story? <laughs> I don't know how you, Frodo. Because you look like you've had your ring destroyed. I don't know. <laughs> What do you do, man? Photographer. You're a what? Photographer. You're a photographer? You're a trainee paedophile, sir. <laughs> you got Scottish people? <laughs> I love that cheer Scottish people do where they think there's a lot more Scottish people in. Yeah, oh, we're surrounded. <laughs> where are you from, Scottish people? <laughs> you sound fucking... Oh, Paisley, he's, he's talked you in shit town top trunks there. <laughs> Sorry, we've had a higher bid. <laughs> What's brought you down from Paisley? A raft made from turnips. <laughs> Although I quite like your answer. Drugs. <laughs> I suspect that's your answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Drugs! <laughs> Fife? Who's from Fife? The Kingdom of Fife. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts in Fife are you from? Kikori. You're going to, I have to explain this to them now. <laughs> Basically, Kirkcaldy, the town's pride took a bit of a knock recently when they found out that the people of Ethiopia were holding a rock concert for them. <laughs> Damn. Wow. The crap talking that's done amongst people over the UK, it... it the different regional aspects of the UK and uh, like Scotland, he's talking. Oh my God. Ethiopians other rock concert for you. Oh, oh Jesus. So what are you doing in London? Working. Working. There's a doer Scottish answer. You're just going to bleed the information out gradually, aren't you? A fucking human riddle from Kirkcaldy. My first is in windmill, but not in canal. I work, but what do I work at? Guess again. What do you work at? Consultant. <laughs> consultant. Do you want to go any deeper into the explanation, or are we just... Management consulting. Management consulting. What are they managing? Not very much. I'm managing to find you quite an annoying cunt. <laughs> Is that how you've managed to stay in the business so long? Just by giving one-word answers? What, sh what should we do about the staff? More. <laughs> More staff, maybe. <laughs> what about you? A hat. Not everyone can carry off a hat in the front row of a comedy club. He is brilliant the way he works the crowd. Like, he is absolutely brilliant the way he works the crowd and the way he's able to turn stuff and just... Number one, have something he's going to pick on him about, and then get to know them a little bit more and use it against them. Why are you in disguise tonight? Is there a particular reason? What do you do for a living? I'm a fundraiser. You're a fundraiser for charity? Yeah. Rather than just yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to sponsor me because I'm fucking skint. <laughs> What's the charity you're raising funds for? It's for disabled children. Disabled children. 
I'm going to have to be pretty good to get any laughs out of that. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I used to work as a support worker with the disabled, but then I kind of worked out that if I couldn't get them to wipe their own arse, I was kind of pissing against the wind trying to get them to bake fairy cakes. <laughs> Is that too much? This will be a long fucking show. <laughs> Are you doing, fella? You gay or do you just like the look? <laughs> What's your story? What do you do? Uh, event manager. You're an event manager. Do you hire shit celebrities for your events? Not that I'm touting for work or anything. Who's <laughs> a shitty celebrity you've ever hired? Hello, Hello, Ralphie. Ralphie. <laughs> Wait, sorry, are we, are we holding a seance here? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Don't you just keep chipping in as if you're part of something, OK? <laughs> We're making fun of this. I've not talked to this side yet. Your faces are going, and please don't. <laughs> What's this, son? Is this your dad or is he grooming you? What's the story? <laughs> <laughs> is that your dad or is he grooming you? Oh, my God. Uh, what do you do, man? Uh, work in customer services. You work in customer services? Is that a polite way of saying call centre? <laughs> You've got a job they literally couldn't get an Indian to fucking do. <laughs> What about you, fella? White van man. You're a white van man? You just define yourself by that. By the borrowed fucking van that you drive. <laughs> and what are you doing with your white van? Uh, deliver cash and carry. Hey, kid, want some candy? Just saying. He's got the look. Food and stuff. You deliver cash and carry food. That sounds utterly soul-destroying. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to liven things up? At lunchtime, do you stick on a DVD of Steve Davis talking about his favourite carpet samples? <laughs> Is it? It's going to go like that, though. It's going to go van driver, fucking call center. We're going to get down to him, and he'll be like a one-legged juggler who sucked off Prince Philip. <laughs> <laughs> What's your story, I'm a journalist. You know, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Who sucked off Prince Philip. <laughs> What's your story, fella? I'm a journalist. You're a journalist? And yeah. Who are you journaling for? Uh, the FT. The Financial Times? That's the one. The fuck are you doing at one of my shows? <laughs> this is for scum. <laughs> what about you, big man? What do you do? Stockbroker, you evil cunt. <laughs> do you invest in ethical stocks or is it largely landmines to Somalia? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually invest in landmines to Somalia, but I also invest in painkillers and plastic knees. <laughs> so the Somalians stand in the landmines, but then they take the painkillers, they have their knees replaced. Essentially, I'm giving the Somalians the gift of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, I'm about to find one of his full shows, wreck it, and put it on uh, Daily Motion or something. <laughs> What's the most evil thing you've ever traded in? Weapons. Weapons? What sort of weapons? Guns. Guns? And who did you buy them for? Because do you know what? If it was a bank job, I'd look the other way. <laughs> did Mark Thatcher? No. <laughs> do you ever think of getting a gun and blowing your own fucking head off? <laughs> Hello? A group of fucking wholesome looking children. How you doing? It's Becky One, you look like their leader. <laughs> what do you guys do? Do you all fucking ride around investigating mysteries on your bikes or something? Or... <laughs> what do you do, little fella? College. You're at college. Is it a real college or one of these things that used to be a fucking swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you studying? Maybe history. <laughs> that's, that's as focused an idea as you have on your college programme. Have you recently discovered marijuana by any chance? Because <laughs> fucking your pal beside you has definitely discovered marijuana, haven't you, fella? How are you doing? What's, what's life like if you look like a fucking good-looking surfer? Because obviously I've always just dragged myself around like the fucking elephant man. <laughs> what the fuck is it like? What do you do, man? 
Ah, right, so it's not all good, is it? You might look beautiful, but you sound like the elephant man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to you there at the minute, thank you. <laughs> I hope you won't touch me on that. Is the wee one like your mascot or something? <laughs> yeah, we got him since our dog died and... <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, we got him since. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! <laughs> the, the, on the spot, just shit talking. To point in, but fuck it. His mum died, so we've got to do something. <laughs> what do you do, little fella? Tell me your mum's alive. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Just your dad that's dead, and fuck him. <laughs> what, what's your what's your goal in life, little fella? Um, uh, <laughs> that is the least ambition I've ever heard. In <laughs> statement. You took about three minutes to say I don't know. Hopefully one day, Frankie, I can grow gills and walk backwards into the sea. <laughs> Do you worry about the future, Frodo? You should. You should particularly worry about the next couple of minutes, which I'm going to make quite difficult for you. <laughs> Do you not worry about young women getting bigger? Say, like, an 18-year-old girl now can be, what, Six foot one, six foot two. See, by the time you're 60, you try to shag an 18 year old girl, it'll be like a wee terrier attacking a giraffe. <laughs> by the time you're 60, the only way you'll be able to satisfy an 18 year old girl will be if an 18 year old guy uses you as a strap on. <laughs> then, fella, what's your story? <laughs> what, that was just a, a sudden mime. Yeah. My story is about this, Frankie. <laughs> That's how I got this girl. Look at this. <laughs> what do you do, man? Uh, graphic designer. You're a graphic designer? Surprisingly camp job for a straight man. <laughs> and uh, what have you been graphically designing this week? Uh, corporate events. Corporate events? <laughs> Is the whole audience tonight <laughs> a sort of evil night out? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Darth Vader's up the back. But I knew not to sit at the front. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he would break on me. Did you all just get a bus together paid for by fucking former Nazis hiding in Chile or something? <laughs> Come on, it'll be great. We need a laugh after a hard day of killing children. <laughs> and what, what do you design for these corporations, man? CD-ROMs and uh, sort of screens for that. CD-ROMs about their business, promotional business materials. Do you ever go home and just think, I could stick my head in the oven and make the world a... <laughs> <laughs> Much better place. <laughs> what do you do, pal? I uh, work at a livestock market. You work at a livestock market? Yeah. Have you quantum leaped here from 1892? <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy says there's a 90% chance we shouldn't sit down in the front, he'll take the piss. <laughs> what a wonderfully Dickensian job you've got. So what do you do with the livestock after you've fucked it? <laughs> Fantastic. Have you ever killed anything? No, not there. Not yet? That's a fucking <laughs> sinister answer. <laughs> That's generally not the way you... <laughs> he says he works at a, <laughs> at a livestock market. He didn't say he worked for the butcher. Of course, in a game livestock market, you normally can take and buy. So, but still, that's just oh my god, a quantum leap here. <laughs> you want to respond to that question on a date, by the way? <laughs> what are your ambitions? Well, I've not killed anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, fella? Hey, boy, you're a fucking scary looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I know he's probably nice to you, <laughs> but he is one terrifying fucking dude, man. What are you doing down here? Uh, I, I do special effects for the, the chip on 
You do special effects for computer games and shit like that. Look at what you could have made of your life. <laughs> you could be a guy who looks like he's fucking just jumped out of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> snared himself some fucking beautiful women in a cool job, man. If you weren't so busy sucking the devil's fucking cock. <laughs> looking for people to chat to. There's nothing wrong with that. How you doing, fella? The check shot there? Second row, how you doing, man? Thank you, thank you. What do you do? Recruitment. Recruitment. A one-word answer that tells me fuck all. <laughs> you could be working for some sort of call centre. You could be a mercenary trying to overthrow Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> Who are you recruiting, man? Uh, Pumas. Pumas? <laughs> You're recruiting Pumas? <laughs> what the fuck could you need those for? <laughs> who, are you, who are you recruiting? Procurement staff. Procurement staff. Right, anybody any the wiser here? <laughs> I, was actually, I actually slightly knew more when I thought it was Pumas. <laughs> you put your hand up there, chap. Yeah, I think I could tell you what procurement's all about, Frankie. <laughs> Throw me the ball. What's procurement, pal? Buy stuff. You buy stuff. I knew that, you daft cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what they were buying. <laughs> What have you bought this week? I don't do it. You don't do it? So when I asked you, what do you do? You decided to step into some kind of fucking fantasy life. What do I do, Frankie? Well, have you read Dr. Shivago? I'm Dr. Shivago. <laughs> what do you do? You fancy telling us? See, if you don't tell me anything, I won't fucking move along. I'll get a stool out here and talk to you all night like fucking Val Dunican. <laughs> you just tell me what you do. I make a joke about how it's a shit thing to be doing. We all get on with our lives. <laughs> Sorry, have I ruined the magic for anybody? <laughs> so what's your role? I'm a middleman between the client and the candidate. Right, you're a middleman. Another thing that tells us almost nothing. <laughs> I'm surprised that you're persevering with words. <laughs> Soon you're just going to yell out a formula. <laughs> What's the biggest thing you've ever bought? A car. <laughs> a car. I meant for your work, you daft bastards. <laughs> this is now sort of devolved into an episode of Trisha, hasn't it? It's just... <laughs> How you doing, fella? What do you do? Yeah, it's agent. You're an estate agent. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Fucking boots on the other foot now, motherfucker. You're calling us and we're not returning your fucking calls. Are you a good lady? What do you do? Clearly you'll be leaving him soon when the money dries up. <laughs> work in fashion. You work in fashion? What are you doing in fashion? Uh, product development. Product development, still not telling me much. Are you working on Anne Summers in Dundee, developing a crotchless shell suit? <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on this week? Burberry. Burberry. So you're both involved in two things that are just going out of fashion. <laughs> it's all fucked. Got some old fuckers in tonight. <laughs> Sign that it's been a mild winter, some of these faces. <laughs> How are you doing, big jolly chap with the beard? How's tricks, man? What do you do? I work for Hackney Council. You work for Hackney Council, and that's why you're laughing. Because <laughs> there's nothing you can do that's shit enough to get you sacked. <laughs> What should we do with the parks this year? Oh, I don't know, pave over them. <laughs> Promotion, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, little fella? Hi. Are you a student of some sort? No, I work. No, you work? What do you work at? I'm a packaging art worker. You're a packaging art worker? Yeah, mobile phone boxes. Mobile phone boxes? Exciting stuff. <laughs> and what, what art have you drawn onto a mobile phone this week? I've done some Motorola phones. Motorola phones? Do you ever think of drawing on 
a big tumour onto the person that's fucking trying to use the phone. <laughs> Sorry, can't get you. I'm in a tunnel and I've got cancer of the head. <laughs> and is this your good lady? She looks like she could rip you apart like a fucking chicken wing. <laughs> Does he touch the sides? <laughs> oh my god, so he's asking, are you, uh, you know... <laughs> oh my god. He, he's asking you if it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. When he does, do you vibrate and your nose lights up? <laughs> Oh, it never fails. It never fails to make me laugh. Jesus Christ. Frankie Boyle is a hoot. He is absolutely hilarious. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.